Hello and welcome to Community Conversations. I'm your host, KK Conishiro. A new program at Fremont Unified is creating a whole generation of student inventors. Several FUSD schools have partnered with the California Invention Convention to assist students in learning ways to identify a problem in their own lives. Then the use of creative thinking processes to solve the problem, develop an invention idea, and create a prototype for the solution. Over the past few years, Fremont students have been presenting their solutions at state and national levels. We'll meet some of the students very shortly, but first, we're here to speak about the program at um, Hearst Elementary kindergarten teacher, which is Kathy Goebel, Chadbourne Elementary fourth grade teacher, Jennifer Mead, and the California Invention Convention director, Brenda Payne. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was so worried I would not enunciate that correctly. Now, first of all, for anyone who is watching, can you tell us the story of how the California Invention Convention and FUSD became partners? How did that all transpire? Well, I began the California Invention Convention four years ago. Okay. And uh, I, I was an interim superintendent in Davenport, north of oh. Santa Cruz. Okay. And the board wanted a teacher to be able to learn how to do project based education. And I offered to do the invention program in her classroom. And we ended up sending students to the national level um, in. Uh, in Washington DC okay. that year. Okay. So uh, the following year we decided we would train some additional teachers and we trained 40 teachers. Wow. And uh, <laughs> That's they, a big jump. <laughs> yeah, and they were pretty much local teachers and over on this side of the hill, teachers from here, teachers from where I am in Santa Cruz. And uh, at, the, at, at the following year um, we had an opportunity to train yet another group of teachers and pretty soon teachers were hearing about it and they started flying up from San Diego for the training and from Northern California coming down and at uh, Thanksgiving I happened to be on an airplane mm -hmm. and I this past Thanksgiving it was two, year, two years uh, last year and and I'm gonna allow my friend here okay to tell you what happened friend <laughs> So I was sitting on the airplane knitting a carrot, which is a holder for knitting needles. And oh my gosh. her granddaughter <laughs> asked me, what is, what, is she, what is she doing? And her mom asked, well, what are you knitting? I said, I'm knitting a carrot. And so we ended up meeting up again on the way to our car. And Brenda said, and what is it you do? I'm a fourth grade teacher. And, and how, she said, I have a program for you. <laughs> and she handed me her card. So serendipity yeah. happens in life. So I went home, on, it was Thanksgiving, uh -huh. and I was preparing to torture my son with his <laughs> science fair project, because that's when teachers prepare for the science fair that's coming up in January. And I had this wonderful card from Brenda Payne and the California Invention Convention. So I delayed in my research of the science fair project and looked up California Invention Convention. And what did I find? This amazing program with amazing curriculum, with amazing wow. ties. Uh, the New Yorker had just done this huge oh expose on students um, creating engineering mm -hmm. projects. And so I said to my son, you have a choice. <laughs> you can do this science fair project or you can solve a problem in your life oh. and mm -hmm. join the invention convention. And he thought long and hard about this uh -huh. and said, no, I think I'm gonna do invention convention. And I said, so is mama. <laughs> so I picked up the phone and I called Brenda and I said, it's Friday after Thanksgiving uh -huh. and I go back to school on Monday. Yeah. Will you train me this weekend? So I went of down course. and she trained me <laughs> and that's how it all began. 30 of my students and my tortured son. Yeah. And this amazing uh, invention convention changed my life and the way I teach. Okay, then how did you come into the picture? So 
Mrs. Mead, Jennifer contacted me last summer and she said, let's get together. Uh, I have something I need to talk okay. to you about. And so um, we went, we met at Santa Cruz uh, Beach and we were collaborating as teachers do over the summer, get together and. Um, Wait, you collaborate on a beach? I didn't know we, that. Yes. <laughs> and they didn't, no one told me that. <laughs> and they didn't even invite me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just learning this. Uh, so we were sitting on the beach, our children are playing and, and uh, she said, I want to tell you about this invention convention. And my first thought was, okay, but how can I do it at the kindergarten level? Mm -hmm. And she said, no, you can do this. It's K through 12. And so um, she said, I want to invite you to the training in Santa Cruz. Um, it's in September. And so we attended the training together along with some other Fremont Unified School District teachers. And we uh, received all kinds of information and training. And we said, let's do it. So then um, Jennifer led the PLC um, process uh, through Invention Pro Convention. Professional Learning Communities. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Thank and you. Um, we, a group of us uh, in Fremont met every month at, um, in Jennifer's classroom at Chadbourne Elementary. And uh, that's where it all started. Wow. So yes, so and it can be done at the kindergarten it? level. Okay, yes. good, yes. good. <laughs> so when you're first starting out and you have your monthly meetings, um, how do you incorporate into your day? How does that happen? How is, do I incorporate the yeah, convention convention Yeah, is it a separate lesson? classroom or is it in a classroom that you're already doing that you're just changing the curriculum? Because I think a lot of viewers are going, okay, is this in addition to what my kids will have to learn or do I have to, is it after school or is it during school hours? So you could do this program any of those ways. Okay, good. I, <laughs> I love having She is so excited. In my <laughs> classroom because it gives kids an experience to be heard. Um, you know, as an educator, I feel like I'm inventing the world. I'm inventing kids yeah. as they invent themselves. And that's what this program does for children. Right. Yeah, I, I, I'll add that uh, there was some research done mm -hmm. a long while ago by a man named George Land. And what he discovered, he was hiring people for NASA, engineers, that was his skill. And he decided that he was going to try to answer the question, are kids born with creativity or do they learn creativity? Okay. And so he gave that same test that he gave engineers to th three to five year old children. And wow. what he learned was that 98% of students tested as creative geniuses. He well, decided to follow them, <laughs> right, that's right. Huh. He started to follow those same students for years. Okay. Five years later, he gave the same test to students and he found out that only 32% were now considered creative geniuses. Five years later, he did a longitudinal study. He found that only 12% uh, and by the time they were 20, only 2%. So and you so lose it. he was really wondering what do we do in schools and in life that yeah. takes away that creative spark. Wow. And he discovered that it has to do with what we um, have, have students do in evaluating. That at kindergarten, they're not evaluators, they're just doing. But once they get a little bit older, we're teaching them evaluative skills. Okay. And as they do that, different parts of their brain close down. Yeah. And that creativity is something that they can keep forever. So what this program does is it speaks to that creativity. That's great. Yeah, and we're trying to make sure that students, because we have no idea what their job is going to be in the next 20 years. Yeah, and they, they change jobs too. Right, yeah. and there are no, they don't exist yet, we've discovered right. in right. studies. So we can't train them for our past. We have to train them for their future. Absolutely. And so this is giving them those skills. And they may not become inventors, they may not become engineers, but they will be able to solve problems and be creative, and that's what we need in the world Absolutely. today. Absolutely, yes. in every industry, every walk of that's life. That's right. Yes. Now, it's at two schools. Are you going to expand on that's this? Seven schools. Seven schools? <laughs> what schools? Oh my gosh. So, so uh, it's Hirsch Elementary, okay. and then we Ch had Chadbourne, uh, Gomes, and um, Thornton. Thornton Junior Thornton High Junior School High. and uh, Vallejo Mill. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, have to, I have to think. Sorry. <laughs> It'll come back to me. It'll come okay. Back to me. So let's change the focus. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does the convention work? If I've never been to it, mm -hmm. I walk in and what can I expect to see? So, well, sure. 
go. You yeah. wanted okay. So at the um, it, it it looks different at different places. Okay. But the way it's done at the state level, which is what we ask people to try to emulate, because it gives students. And state levels where? Okay. The state level was done um, uh, at in San Jose. at Max in San Jose okay. at Maxim Integrated, okay. which is the largest computer chip company in the world. Your wow. washing machines and your cars have their chips in them. Yeah. So it, that's where it took place. Okay. And we had from all over the state, we had 3,000 kids this year <gasps> participating. And they had their own conventions, San Diego and all over uh -huh. California had their own conventions, and they sent winners. So they had them in different ways. But once they get to the state level, we have uh, a whole room set up with six to eight inventions okay. at a table area okay. and three judges and we have a conversation between the judges and the inventors. Three of, judges for 3,000 kids. Well, no, three, three judges for, sorry I didn't, didn't get to that, the uh, number that ended up at Maxim uh -huh. after it was filtered through all of these oh, different okay. programs okay. was 175 students. Wow. <laughs> and so eight, uh, there were six inventions to eight students at a table and three judges made a judging circle. Okay. And so students gave, an, they were given an opportunity to, that each student <coughs> would talk about his or her invention and those judges and other students have a conversation about oh, nice. yeah, what would help the student yeah. in the future to improve it or what works really wonderfully. Very or, similar to what we're doing here today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and, great. And it, it teaches kids um, you know, we tell our children, don't talk to strangers. But we want to tell kids, talk to as many people as you can talk to and learn from them and glean information from them. And so this forum, in, in this way of presenting your information, tells yeah. them. Well, I, I am so excited for you. I mean, I can just feel your passion. I want to participate. I wish I was Good. We're Ellen going to let school. you. <laughs> no, we're going to let you be a judge next oh, year. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. But I thank you so much for being here. We're going to bring the kids on because I think it's important mm -hmm. we introduce Absolutely. them and see some of their inventions for the yes. convention. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. Joining us now are four of Fremont Unified's aspiring inventors. So please introduce yourselves, what school you go to, and what grade you're in. And we're going to start with you. My name is Demira Kadiwala, and I am in the sixth grade. I go to Vallejo Mill Elementary School. Perfect. My name is Arian Mungle. I go to Thornton Junior High, and I'm in seventh grade. Seventh grade, okay. I'm Abey Shankar, and I go to fourth, I'm in fourth grade, and I'm in Chadbourne Elementary School. Okay. I'm in fourth grade. My name is Owen Tsai. I go to Chiborn Elementary School. Okay. I'm in the same class as Abe. Oh, nice. Well, welcome. So how exciting was it for you guys to do this, the invention so convention? <laughs> I was so excited. Yeah? It was a lot of fun. Good. What did you invent? I invented a solar-powered ocean cleanup whale, which will clean the ocean. Okay, so was that a personal problem that you felt that needed to be fixed and you came up with the prototype? Well, yeah, as much as it was my problem, I think it was everyone's problem and we really need a solution to that. Good girl. Awesome. What was your problem that you wanted so to fix? So my problem was child abuse and it's a big problem because uh -oh. it happens like around the whole world and it not does. just like America and all those. And, like 40 million people are uh, in, affected. So I created Artemis, which uses the power of sound waves to stop it using your everyday smartphone. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I must look like a dork next to you guys. You guys are intelligent. Okay, what was your problem? Um, uh, my problem, or our problem, was uh -huh. that pencils kept falling off desks and it can cause frustration. Yes. And you can lose your thoughts. So we, we created a solution that we place a pipe insulator on each side of the desk. So when the pencil nears the edge, it'll get blocked. Nice. Do you have an example of that? Is that what yeah. that is? Yes. This okay, so that prototype. the rubber foam goes around the edge of each desk so your pencil doesn't roll off. Yeah. Because I find that frustrating. It I can't can also find be it. used as like a armrest so when you're writing yes. Good um, point. it's very comfortable. Good point. And as you're writing, um, the the pipe insulator might fall off because mm -hmm. you're rubbing against it. Right. So we used Velcro and secured it on. Smart. 
Very smart. Okay, do you have a poster you want to show? Because yeah. I think we want to see it. It's right there. Yeah. So. Because I want to see this. Basically, the app I invented also won the California Invention Convention. Okay. And so this is the it's upside down. check that I received. Oh, wow. Look at you. $500? You're rich. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So what are you going to do with all that money? Probably use it to develop my app, like further research that costs money, like Good. testing it around the world. Nice, nice. So is this app easy to use? Or can anyone? So download you just it? it just downloads. You just download on your phone, and Does then it cost anything. No. Okay. Good. And then it, when it's on your phone, it just automatically detects the abuse even when your phone's off. So it's like remotely recording, and finding the abuse. Wow. Okay, so if I'm being abused, can it also signal to the police I need help? Or? So basically, it sends an SMS to all the family members oh, nice. and all the list of subscribers. Okay. So they can bas basically use it for self-evaluation. And on top of that, they can send an SMS to the police as well as give it to law enforcement. So nice. And they have evidence along with it. So wow, you're going to be everyone's it. hero. That's <laughs> great. Thank That's you. great. Now, what did you invent? So I invented... The solar powered ocean cleanup whale. Okay. So, what it is, is a, this is just a prototype, but what it will do is um, it will be solar powered and it will have a mechanical tail for propulsion. Uh -huh. And the water in the trash will enter through the mouth. The tongue of it will detect it and it will close its mouth. The water Smart. will. Yeah. The water will carry through, through the filter and there will be heaters at the bottom, so it will build up pressure and it will go out through the blowhole. <laughs> nice. Very yeah. nice. Now, is this a ribbon and a plaque one? Yeah, and then there's also a certificate okay. over there. Okay. So this one is for the winner of one of the invention um, focus categories. Mm -hmm. And this is an award of merit. And then um, the, uh, the certificate I have over there is um, for uh, being an industry one. Nice, nice. Now, because you guys went through the convention and you had to meet with the judges, right? Yeah. How was that? What was that like? Was it intense? Was it yeah. relaxing? So probably the first like round of judges was intense, so you're nervous and stuff. Yeah. Once you kind of like get used to it, you kind of like go through the flow, so everything's fine for you. Okay. Like used to it, like just like let me present it and let me be confident and let me gain okay. what I can of this experience, basically. Nice. Because after a while, it's just a normal conversation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it was actually yeah. kind of fun because they're just asking you about your invention, and you really can like tell uh, them all about it, so they can, you know, get a better like idea of what your mm -hmm. invention will mm -hmm. actually do and how it can actually benefit people. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you guys like the judging part? Yeah. At first, I was like really nervous. <laughs> I'm like, what am I gonna do? But then. Even a couple seconds into my presentation, I just felt confident and I knew I had this. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, I had the same like problem as him. I was nervous, uh -huh. but I just remembered that the the presenters ne next to me are doing the same same right. thing. They're going through the same thoughts. Yeah. So I just I just got to be confident like them, and I'm I'm gonna do the same thing. Good for you. That's awesome. So. Now that you did this level, do you go into state? Do you go to nationals? Where does this take you? So I'm going to Dearborn, Michigan in uh, I think like a few days, only like a week or two. Okay. So um, that will take us to national level and over there we can see if we won the entire convention overall. Okay. So yeah. I'm also going to Dearborn, Michigan, uh -huh. but my plan is not just Dearborn, like sp it's Dearborn, Michigan, just a contest, yeah. but overall like I think this goes for everybody's invention in the convention. Like, it's supposed to solve some problem, and that problem needs to be solved by these inventions. So we need to just spread it around the world, not just by participating in, like, competitions, but, like, reaching out to people and, yeah. like, telling them how it works. Yeah. And, like, helping them, like, who are committed to stopping the same problem as you and have a solution, help you. Like, so that's what I kind of did, but I still need more help. So I contacted an organization, and wow. I'm doing the testing, but... I still need to contact more people and spread mm -hmm. it, kind of. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody needs to do that. Absolutely. And it's not just nationals. It's, it has to be the whole world. Yes. Yes. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. So, we have we have a f uh, like few work to do before going to the Dearborn, Michigan. But um, we just had to. F um, the the presenting part is twenty five or twenty five percent of our grade. So we have to get that all correct. And we have to get all our invention log and get the small de right. details correct. <clears throat> so, 
Um, you just gotta get everything right in the Dearborn, Michigan. Yeah, we not, like Arian, we not only have our sights set on Dearborn, Michigan, we have our sights set on the world. As you should. Good yeah. job. I love that. <laughs> so, doing this convention, convention, can you go again next year? Can you participate next year with a different solution for a problem? Or is this it? Or how many times can you do this? Because I think this is fun. Yeah, right? I, I don't think there's a limit as to how many inventions we can do because we're trying to come up with um, inventions that will help all of us and not just right. a few of us. Right. Now, what did you, what surprised you when you were going through this process? You found a problem and you had to fix it or find a solution. What was eye-opening? What did you discover about yourself that you didn't know about? Like, I can fix a problem, right? A problem that two times or one time like making a solution won't work because there's always something you can improve so pretending like oh I finished the app but then you can like add like some things like outside the app like help like manuals and stuff like how to use it yeah. so there's always something you can add no matter what it's never perfect like on yeah. your app so but does this make you feel like you can fix anything in the world now now that you've done this process yeah 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 because yeah. us old people we need your help we do you need to fix a lot of things okay yeah so we, I usually see people when they're they they're like, oh, we need to invent this because this is a problem. Right. They they say it, but they never do it. Right. So it's I think kids have more of a creativity than than adults, so that we can create the inventions, and we we have more problems in our head, so so that gives us more time. We have right. more time because um, parents are working. Right. And so. That will that will help us, and we can create it for the f for our future. Yeah, cool. I, de I definitely think uh, it was beneficial for us. Good, good. It's beneficial for us older people too. We appreciate you guys. Uh, you congratulations on everything you've done. I wish you all the best in Michigan. Okay, and next year you guys are going to Michigan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much for being on the show. We appreciate it. Congratulations again, from everyone here at Community Conversations. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you real soon. Thank you. Thank you.